Hello guys, this is Makeup Hot 100 and today I'm here to show you guys what I how I get ready in the morning. So let's jump into let's take off our glasses and everything and let's wash our face and get all excess of makeup out. After that I take our headband that I keep always on my first door because I always need it and keep my hairs away out of the way. So that's that's how much I look like when I put my headbands off. Okay, after that I'm gonna take my foundation. I oops, wrong side, wrong side. There you go, Land Kim. 24 hour wear. It has SPF in it, which I really like. It's good for everyday use. And you can use it however you want. So real quick, I'm gonna go over um, my foundation. So after I apply my foundation on, I would go ahead and apply my concealer. It's probably one or two shades lighter than your skin, so go ahead and take out your concealers. We're gonna get starting this party right now. So I use a uh, uh, it's LA girl. Sorry, I actually have my mirror set up in here, so that's why I'm like keep looking at the side. Get those dark circle out of your way and highlight around right in here. A little on the nose. How do I look? Will you date me? I'm kidding. No, I won't date you. Sorry. So it's like bridge of your nose, the part you want to highlight. I would say mostly people don't have, I mean, mostly teenage girls don't have dark circles. If you do, apply concealer on it. And after that, I'm gonna set everything up with the loose, loose finishing powder to set my foundation off and everything so I don't slip and slide. It's getting hot in here. with that I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes apply your eye primer on I'm applying it's I guess it's elf eye primer yes it is elf eye primer and I've been using it for so long and actually it's a really good one I have uh, another one too I should get do that use it in some of my videos so I can see the differences between those it's Morphe's Cosmetics, yes. Mor Morphe, Morphe, however you pronounce it. I probably busted out wrong, so. I'm gonna, okay, for the main colors, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use um, this color right in here. It looks like white, but it's not actually a white. It's like a creamy gold. As you can see. It's, it's right next to the white, but it's not a white color. And that's what I'm going to apply on my lid right in here. And for the last and least, that's what I'm going to apply. It's a really nice dark uh, brown. So we're going to... You can apply, you can use matte eyeshadow, but I'm doing it uh, so everyone can get along. It's totally on you. Do you want to use uh, matte eyeshadows or do you want to use shimmery eyeshadow? I would suggest for the night times I would use shimmery eyeshadow mostly. But I like shimmery eyeshadows, no lie. I love shimmery eyeshadows. I will wear it no matter day or night. But um, if you're looking for more something not so dramatic and not so noticeable, I would stick with matte in the morning. As I'm gonna go out after this, so I use the shimmery eyeshadow as I can. So I'm gonna take my flat shader brush and apply the second shade that I show you guys. And I'm gonna use the same thing. Another eye. 
is a very, very shimmery. I love this palette. It almost has the every color I needed. It's because I'm brown and it's like we wear colorful clothes, so it's neat. You need everything to go with the clothes. There you go. Got it. <laughs> After that, I'm going to take the darkest brown that I show you guys, the third color, and I'm going to apply it right on the corner of my eyes. You can use, um, for this purpose, we're going to use um, the smudger brush, or you call it um, smoky brush, or whatever. Whatever you, you guys call it, you can get this one at Target. And I have this one too. When, what is it? The Real Technique ones. But this is a little big for me to smudging it and it creates the lines. Uh, if I do that, it creates the line right in here, so which I don't like it. And I love this one. It smooths out everything. If I'm using, if I'm doing a smoky eye, big purpose of big black eyes and something chunky or bigger, I would use this. But if you're working in a small area, you probably need a smaller brush. So we're gonna do that in here. We're gonna. So this. Now you guys are gonna be like, "Hey, your eyes look like busted out." Now I'm not. How's that? And the first color we applied on the inner corner. Probably not that, but oh, I left my brushes on. Okay, so we're gonna take this white in here. Can you see? There you go. Nice, nice view. There you go. So we're gonna take this white and I'm gonna apply right under the eyebrows. And I'm gonna use the, the same smudger brush. Tap off the excess. And you can see the difference between hitting this light and having nothing on on this. <laughs> I usually don't do my eyebrows, but if you are somebody who does your eyebrows, I would probably show you what I would do. But, uh, oops, I opened the wrong side. I have really nice eyebrows, so I don't really do them much. And I would get over with this same brush in the back just to smudge out that some people use gel on it, some people don't, just prefer to use it. And you can see the huge difference between this eyebrow and this one. Can you guys? I don't know. You, gotta, you guys gotta tell me on that. gonna add for natural look I love those what's called those cream blushes and I love Maybelline Maybelline dream bouncy blush and I love Maybelline's lipstick because I have no idea how rich and creamy and how perfect they are and I love their 24 hours too is it yeah so I'm taking this is I'm almost out of this so it's a cream curly brush from Maybelline and I'm using the blush brush let's give you the most natural look you ever wanted After that, lipsticks. Now, actually, we're gonna. I'm gonna align my waterline, and um, we're gonna apply some mascara on. Okay. So for that, I'm using 
Jordan's Troll Over Made to Last Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. If you have smaller eyes, use the white pencil on your waterline. If you have uh, bigger eyes, use a black pencil. I don't know, but I love using the black pencil. I can't. I the white pencil is, just makes me look dolly. Like I'm a doll. That's what just makes me feel like. Okay, for the eyeliner purpose, we're gonna use a Fabu eyeliner, the amazing Fabu eyeliner. What I like about this, it has a tap on the top, and you can go ahead and do it your magic way. So I'm gonna get close to here. I don't know, but this frozen song is stuck in my head. from next and uh, for the last part we're gonna apply some lipstick on so get your lips ready I have a whole thing set up in here. I'm not gonna apply a lipstick on, but I'm gonna apply a lip gloss on. A natural look, and it has a sparkle in it. Look how shiny it is. So, that's all, I'll just have a moment. to see it in the mirror. There you go. So that's how I get ready in the morning and that's my every single day look. Like literally every single day. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below and I can't say subscribe. There you go, set it right now. And I'll probably be putting up my Twitter soon. I do have a Twitter, but I don't use it. So, I would be putting up Twitter soon, and you can follow me up there if you have any questions, comments, and let me know. Ing me, Emily, text me, Facebook me, message me, stalk me, everything. Do it everything. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.